Okay, today we're playing with what I'm calling the magic mirror, and it's actually just using a webcam to create AI imagery in real time. And by real time, I mean like one image every second to second and a half. And if you can get this running on your system, it's just a ton of fun. And I'm sure that there's some practical application for it, and I'll figure that out one day. But until then, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing right now. So let's get into it. I actually shared a version of this workflow a while back and did something similar to what I'm going to be doing now. But we are going to take it to a next level. We're going to do costume changes and all sorts of fun stuff. And we're really going to dig into what's possible here with this particular tool. So let me just walk you around the workflow real quick. If you're just kind of getting started with this and just want to play, I'm just going to show you the things that you can change. So first of all, we're starting with the model that's going to drive all the imagery. I have found after lots of testing that nothing seems to be Reality's Edge LCM Turbo XL, which you can get over at Civit AI for generating images that look great. I've played with lots of other models, including models I've trained myself. So that if I've trained a person, for example, I can use them in this and we'll look at that as well. And to use those 1.5 models, we actually use an LCM LoRa to speed up the process of doing that. So it is closer to real time, but really you can use any turbo model you'd like. And there's probably some that work great. Then of course, the other thing you'll need to set is your webcam. This is of course going to assume that you have a webcam on your system. I found it's best if you just have one right now. That's what I did. I sort of deactivated everybody else. It was just easier for the node to find it. So it's just webcam zero. I'd love to see a drop down list that shows you all the cameras you can choose by name, but it's just by number. So sometimes that's sort of guesswork if you don't have a way to list out what camera aligns with what number. But anyway, I've just got one here and that will be just fine. I do have a currently bypassed LoRa node, which we'll get to in a little bit. But here in the case sampler, you might be playing with a few things to get the best image you can. But the steps, the CFG scale and the denoise. And you can even play with the scheduler itself, but I found LCM and normal gives me the best cleanest looking image. However, sometimes the steps can be changed and the CFG scale can be changed and definitely the denoise scale can be changed to tweak the image if you don't like it. And it's one of those things you'll know when you get there and you just play with it and see. The great thing is, is all the updates are happening in real time. So you get instant feedback. So we'll probably be playing with those values as we go along. Then of course, we've just got our positive prompt, which shapes what we're doing here. You'll see that that positive prompt is Albert Einstein. And there I am. And he's wearing something hauntingly similar to what I'm wearing with a background that, as you can see, is extremely boring because I didn't have the denoise up very much. And then here is the negative prompt, which I don't really even touch. I have a standard negative prompt that I use for all my images. You can use the one you like. It's just whether or not it makes a huge difference. I don't know, but I use it. So use your favorite negative prompt. Needless to say, when you load this workflow, which I'll provide a link to, if you get the red boxes popping up, you're just going to need to install some custom nodes. This is actually a lot simpler process than the original video I showed, which required running an app and doing all sorts of other things. This just works and it works pretty well. So, but if you have problems, just make sure you're all of your nodes and comfy UI and everything else is up to date. Once we know we're up to date and we got everything going, we're not getting any red boxes and you're just ready to rock and roll. You're going to go over here and click extra options and then you're going to click auto queue. And that's just going to keep the process going automatically, which is what you want. So once you're ready to go, you just click queue prompt. And if your model has not been loaded into the system yet, it will load at that time. But you can see now that it is updating in as real time as the system will handle. It's taking a screen grab from the webcam, which is just a Logitech stream cam, nothing real fancy. So let's drag this down so we can have the denoise scale in here. So right now I've just got Albert Einstein. I've got no other direction. I don't talk about what he's wearing or anything. So this is just the default value of that. So let's just say in a library, give it a couple of seconds for that particular prompt update. And you'll see that the background has shifted a little bit. But if we really want it to library up, I'm going to take this denoise value, pop it up to like 60. And now we're going to get books in the background, shelves in the background, that kind of stuff. Now the downside of that is it's not adhering to me as much. But let's see what happens if I put my hand up here. Let's see if it catches up and puts his hand up. Not really. It's not following as closely because it's adding so much noise to the screen. So I'm going to take it back down to around, I don't know, 30 something, right? See, he caught up and there it was. So right now he's wearing just kind of a, a sweater that's sort of similar to mine. Let's see if we can change that to like a wearing a blue and black parka with fur lining. All right, give that a second. Now, if you look around the collar, but now you can see that the inside is fur lined, right? But what if I said it was leather lining? Well, now you can see it's already the, turning the, the jacket leather. And of course the inside will be leather lining. Let's have a little bit more fun here. So why don't we do somebody else besides Albert Einstein? How about just a generic scary clown? Okay. 
Now, if you don't specify too much detail, like in the face, it's gonna shift a lot. So if I was to put like a celebrity face with this, something that the model can recognize, it's gonna adhere and the, the face should stay more consistent. So let's say scary clown Liam Neeson. Okay, he's not scary clown enough. So I'm gonna select that control up arrow and pop up the scary clownness emphasis. Give it some context. In a circus at night, bokeh-colored lights. You can see it's already doing something even though I don't have the denoise value up, but if I pop that up just a little bit, maybe even just to 45, and that should keep the basic shape. I should be able to put my hands up right. Gotcha, I've been waiting for this. Now I need to type holding a lion. This is one-handed, holding a lion. Now, see, how about that? Yeah, roar. Come on, she's not happy with me at all. I told her she was gonna be a part of this if she bothered me, so there you go. But that's pretty cool, right? So now she's gone, but the prompt is still wanting me to hold a lion. So I could really just hold just about anything in my hand. So you'll see I'm holding this, this little plastic dinosaur. Watch it become a lion. Come on. I need to get it in the frame. Actually, I guess it's, it's too light. How about this? How about this bear? Oh, look at that, that's awesome. It's a scary clown bear. All right, hold on, I need to make it a lion. So let me say, because if it's, it sees that color purple, and so maybe if I say, hey, no, this is a purple lion, and it'll say, oh, okay, that purple thing must be a lion. Come on. Okay, that, there you go. Now, one of the things that you should know about this is that this is creating every one of these files that you see, every one of these images that you see here is creating a file on your hard drive. Yes, that's right. Your temp drive in the Comfy UI is filling up every time you see that image update. That's good and bad. It's bad if you don't know it because it could overflow. What's going on with my space? But if you know it's there, then you can of course delete them when you're done with a particular session. And last time I did this, somebody asked, can you save these images if they go by so fast? Well, it's saving them automatically with this particular process. So you can go into the temp file, you can find the image that you like, and then you can go and upscale it or anything like that if you want to do something with it. Or just keep it because you got a good one. All right, let's change this up. Let's do Jennifer Lopez, okay? And she's just sitting there, so where is she? She's, uh, what is JLo up to right now? Well, she's posing for a photo shoot at the beach on a sunny day, okay? All right, so I'm not messing with the clothes at this point. We got the beach. What we've been seeing so far is just waist up. My pants are a different color, they're sweatpants, on purpose to provide some contrast than rather just blue jeans. So let's just see what happens when I stand up. I'm gonna have to lean over a little bit just so I stay in the picture. Okay, so now you can see, if I keep this zipped up, we're a little bit more, uh, you know, predictable. But it does add some realism. So if I was to just kind of keep it just like that, whoop, okay. Isn't this exciting? All right, let's take the denoise value down a little bit. It just seems to be kind of changing a lot. Let's say she's wearing silk, right? Silk gown instead of, you know, whatever that. So see, now it just changes the whole style of what the dress is. Now, how about we give her some accessories? And here's where we can get creative with just things you have around the house. And I wish this was a completely different color. Holding a chain. A chain? Now all I have here is this blue crepe paper. That looks too fuzzy. What I want is a metal chain, right? So metal, shiny chain. All right. Come on, chain it. How about let's just change this. Posing for a photo shoot on a beach day, and let's get the silk gown out for a second. Holding a chain. Well, there you go, there it was. But it's kind of wavering back and forth. You get the idea there. I can also change the whole color of this thing just by wrapping myself up in purple for a sec. Now she's got like a cape or something. All right, so look at that. Now she's got a fur whatever. What do we want around her neck with a cat around her neck. Is that gonna work? No, I could say cat on her shoulder. Let's do this with a cat on her shoulder. There's the cat. And what if, if this would work, the little bear, maybe a kitten, there you go. Well, what if it wasn't a kitten and instead it was a dragon on her shoulder 
Well, all right, I'll hold it. Well, then it won't be on my shoulder. Hold on, here we go. Holding a dragon. Maybe I should say baby dragon. A baby purple crystal dragon. Dragon, dragon, yes, okay, good. And she is now a warrior princess wearing metal armor. All right, so see, now we got that metal armor. She's holding the dragon. Where's she posing? On the beach. Now, nah. how about at Ancient Stone Ruin at Golden Hour? So now we got the ruins back there. My boring old background is ruined. Just roll back. How's that gonna look? Okay, so she's, so they put like these. There we go. J-Lo and her purple dragon. All right, so we lose some of the details as we move further away from her, obviously. Conversely, and, and this is all based on the model, the information that the model has on her as to how much it's gonna look like her. For example, if I was to do Christopher Walken, we're gonna get the classic stable diffusion Christopher Walken. You wanna see him? Okay, here we go. Christopher Walken in a blue suit in a jazz club. But yeah, that's there he is. That's the uh, Stable Diffusion Christopher Walken. If you know what I'm talking about, will you please validate me in the comments? I mean, maybe I'm alone in this club. Okay, that is a sharp looking suit. Now, what if I wanted a flower on the lapel? Well, I don't happen to have a flower here. It doesn't really matter. So let's just say flower on lapel. I just wish I had any kind of a sticker right now. I can use this bear again. This unzips, watch this. I'm about to have a flower on the lapel. Well, it's not on the Pell, but it's exactly where I have this bear. And how about he's at Mardi Gras. Tie change to reflect Mardi Gras. Let's pop up the denoise and see if we can get down to the French Quarter. Why don't I tell it we're in the French Quarter? In the French Quarter. Outdoors. Gas lamps. Gas lamps? Why, where's a gas lamp? I know I can get a gas lamp back there with just a common everyday object. Maybe it's about perspective. Maybe the gas lamp is in front of me and I have to just put it up to the camera. What's more gas lamp colored? Okay, we're definitely getting the lamp part. Move it over, move it over. I hate to always default to saying you get the idea, but you get the idea. How about this? Holding a torch. And now we'll use the other side of this little dude, and I'm sure we'll get a torch going, no worries. Yep, see, look at that. Let me just hold it right up to the camera here. Nice. In a smoky bar, looking angry, it will change his face. Holding a beer with blue flannel shirt. And I'll, you know, see what we can do here. There you go. Now here's my beer, which is actually ibuprofen. <laughs> now look at that. This is why I call it Magic Mirror, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's see if we make him not so angry. Confused? I don't know, I've never tried that before. Hey, he looks confused. That's awesome. How about Sleepy? And he's wearing a blue terry cloth robe. It's crazy. Hey, he's still drinking a beer. This is my big coffee cup. Let's see if he gets a beer out of this. Because what I might want to do... I do! Here's an interesting one. If you say a Darth Vader in the Death Dar. What generally happens is you don't get the mask. You get something like this. We need to bring that denoise way down in kind of a boring Death Star. However, I was like, well, why do they not have Darth Vader in the reality's edge model? I'm just no way. But the thing is, I've got this big white head on the top of the blue thing, and it doesn't look at all like Darth Vader. But what if I just took these headphones and put them in front of my face? I love that it's going in in segments like that. Let's see if I bring it up so it's more in front of my face. Come on, we're getting there, we're getting there. I keep, I gotta stop peeking. There we go. <laughs> I cannot put the thing on my head. Anyway, you get the idea. Same thing with C3PO in the desert. Oh, look at that, it actually found my face just fine. I guess I'm shiny enough. That's with the denoise up. Before, I didn't have the denoise up enough and there was no face, but that is fun. What will it do with my hands? Will it do C-3PO's hands? 
Nope. But I bet you if I said gold metal hands, come on, there we go. I knew they'd do it. That's so cool. So what's underneath that jacket, see? Ugh. I love it. Oh, he is styling. I love this. What about the legs? All right, that's, that is chaotic. All right, what's with the, oh, because I got white pants. So how about if I say gold metal legs? All right, now, kick back, relax a little bit. No, gold metal, metal, metal. <laughs> okay. No. Let's do a 3D render. Betty Boop. Kids at home, if you don't know who Betty Boop is, she was a cartoon that would not fly today. But you get the idea. Let's see. Let's put her in a 1920s dance club. Okay, that's cool. I guess we got enough back up just a little bit. This could be risky. Okay, that's about what I expected, something like that. We would just stay appropriate. Now, there's too much of the denoise value going right now. Let me bring that down a little bit because uh, there's too much change happening. Okay, let's keep it, let's keep it clean, right? Okay, so we're staying appropriate, that's ish. That's good. But like, costume change with this. So now look at that, it changes the whole perspective. It thinks I'm sitting on the floor because it does look like that. And now you get a whole different kind of photo shoot or posing you can do. Here's Abraham Lincoln with no setting in front of a log cabin in the woods. I want to say chopping down a cherry tree, but I know that people won't get that I'm being sarcastic and they'll tell me it was George Washington. And it's going to start this unnecessary conversation, which is going to get into eventually, hey, aren't we really just a simulation anyway? All right, so here he is. This looks pretty good. And that's only a, a denoise of 37. Now I did up the CFG scale before too, so that might have a little something to do with it. He does seem to be moving around an awful lot. You want to stay in control. It's obviously not going to be smooth and fluid yet and, and stay super consistent, but, but it is going to get better. It always does. And it's still so super fun to play with the magic mirror. I took off the blue for sort of a costume change. And now that's just casual Abe sitting around. I don't like cigars, but maybe he does. Smoking a cigar. And now, of course, I will need a cigar. Scratch your head. Well, it looks like my house is on fire. Awesome probably do something about that. He probably didn't talk like that. All that smoke coming out of his head would imply there's some sort of a hole. Too soon? How about instead of in front of a log cabin, he's at a neighborhood cookout with their friends. Let's accessorize him a little bit. How about he's wearing, for some reason, wearing a blue knit scarf. Now, I won't give him the scarf yet and just see what it does found a scarf on my collar, but let's just bring this into the equation again. Our old friend, the blue crepe paper. And now I've got myself a blue scarf. My God, yesterday I found this and I said, I wonder why I would ever want it. I wonder if there would be a reason to use this. Look at that. Wrap that around. Hulk at a neighborhood cookout with friends eating a burger. This quarter of a brain will be the burger. We need him way more green. Let's see, how about scary, green, angry, right Hulk smash for heaven's sake. We need more green, green, green skin, green skin, green skin. I'm gonna see if I can just make the shirt disappear. Shirtless, there we go, right? And now we have to pose. Look how angry, oh wait, that's right. He's gotta have a hamburger. Maybe he's got two hamburgers. The shirt thing isn't working. I need no shirt. Maybe if I'm even more specific. Green arms, green hand, green neck, muscular. There we go. Now I think we're getting clarity. So now we, let's see. Oh, you got the ripped shirt thing going. Yeah, I think it, it just, it still sees too much of the outline of the shirt. And of course, if I was to take the shirt off, which I'm not going to do. I'm sure you would uh, get the desired effect like that, but we can approximate it. That's good. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. The little mermaid on a rock by the ocean. How can we little mermaid this up? Now this is almost exactly the color of 
of what she wears up there, right? We're getting there. Let me denoise up a little bit. I'm not taking off my shirt for this video. We're just gonna have to make do with what we've got. It's kind of the point. Now, what if I back up? I don't remember her color scheme. Come on now, there we go. All right, we're getting there. So you get the idea. I put my arm out, is it following? Yeah. So, creative use of clothing and props you have around the house. Zombie in a graveyard. Torn shirt, bloody, scary, raining, dormy, gravestones. Look at all that. Big hair, not big hair. Long, straggly, gray hair. How about this? Let's see what we do with our long, straggly, gray hair. There we go. A little creative costuming. Now we've got this. Why do we have this? I don't know. Okay, added some clothing to it just to make it a little bit more interesting so that when I say things like porn, clothing, holes in shirt, how about we make this specific zombie? Who needs to be a zombie? Who, who, who? Let's look at another use of this particular clothing choice. Because this recording session's been going on a bit, I thought it was time to sort of empty the temp drive and check it out. So I'll show you what's going on in here. So you can see it actually creates pairs of images, the actual webcam image and then the image that the AI creates. So as we scroll down here, we can just see the pairs, me standing up there, and there she is there. And so if you wanted to take one of these images and upscale them, this is where they would be in that temp directory until you either close Comfy UI or you go in here and you manually delete everything, which is what I'm going to do right now so I can continue the demo. We'll leave the graveyard and go into the world of high fashion. How about a gorgeous supermodel posing for a photo shoot on a dock of a lake? Oh email where a summer dress. these the image is really nice and this again is where you have the flexibility like if I button this all the way up it's going to change the nature of the summer dress completely add the little bow around my neck or whatever then with just simple adjustments obviously you can change the look of it we're gonna keep it nice and family friendly we're gonna stop right there but you get the idea Betty White on TV getting interviewed wearing a purple jacket and yellow sweater just to make sure that this is interpreted as a piece of clothing camera lights stage microphones let's pop this denoise up and get her where we want her to be there we go look at that nice purple studio oh that's a little bit much though that's a little bit much that's too much too much denoise and maybe a little bit too much on the cfg scale let's pop this back down to around 2.9 holding a puppy she was an animal person and this quarter brain will now be a puppy there you go can I get a puppy on her head? Gonna have to say it though. Puppy on her head. Puppy, puppy, puppy on her head. I did spell puppy right on. Puppy, puppy. There we go. Fuzzy, cute puppy. There we go. You have to be a little bit more specific. So it knows exactly what to do. How about instead of in a TV studio, in a meadow, surrounded by flowers. And we'll up the denoise so we can get some more flowers. Can't do too much more on the denoise or I'm not in control anymore. If I put my hands up, do I even? Yeah, okay, we're at 47. Oh, Aquaman under the sea. Okay, it's Jason Momoa, but he's not dressed like Aquaman. So wearing costume, I don't know. We're getting there. Fish, coral, sharks, bubbles, sand. I don't know, what else is under the sea? Starfish. There we go. Now, if I position this right, there we go. And now if I do the whole like this, what happens? There you go. But I'm not under the sea. I'm kind of under the sea. Look at there's a shark, bubbles. Clearly you see the potential here. So just real quick before I end the video, let's try it with a 1.5 model. So to do that and keep it in real time, we're gonna have to use that Laura, the LCM Laura. So first let's load a model. I'll go ahead and just load a model of me and just change Aquaman to the instance prompt for my model. And then I'm gonna activate this Laura and I'm gonna choose PyTorch, that's for the 1.5 model. I'm gonna leave everything just where it is. 
I'm gonna even keep the steps where it is right here and we're gonna see what happens when I click on QPrompt. First, it's gonna load the model. Okay, so that's a pretty decent approximation of my model. It's certainly not perfect. It's a 1.5 model and it's got a whole different look and feel to it. Let's see what, what we can do here. So we've got the fish and the coral and the sharks. Let's just see dressed as Superman on a rooftop in the city at night. Now, I'm not seeing any hint of Superman at all. I see the rooftop. Let's see, let's take this off. Stick this here, see if it'll turn into an S. Nope. How about we play with the CFG scale on that one? Okay, we're getting closer with getting an S there. Okay, totally cheating here. I have a Superman t-shirt. So that definitely makes things easier. It even tries to put the cape on there. This is a purple cape, but let's see if it'll translate. It's not looking like me that much anymore. Yeah, it is. It's turning it into a cape, a purple cape. Pull back and what's it gonna do with my pants? Yeah, that's not really super manny. And now I'm definitely just back in my room. Anyway, with 1.5 models, you just wanna play around. I haven't spent as much time with them, but they do work. So does this seem fun to you or am I just a goofball? I, well, look, don't answer that because I already know the answer. It's more important whether or not it seems fun for you or not. I do have a link to the workflow in the description. Just a quick reminder that the speed and the quality of this will be GPU dependent. I'm running an NVIDIA RTX 3090 and I've got 64 gigs of RAM in this system and you've seen what speed that gives. I'm always looking for ways to make it faster. So if you know of ways to make it faster, I'd love to hear about them. And if you've tried this process with any other models with great results, I'd love to know about it because I've been playing with this model for a while and I like the results and it does have flexibility. You can get different styles out of it, but I'd love to see what other models that are fine tuned to uniquely different styles could do with this environment. Well, have fun with this. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you, but if you do not, I will look for you, I will find you, and I will...